In an aircraft, Rogers, if we have an emergency, right, that we always say aviate, navigate, communicate. And that's how you can keep yourself safe and do a good job and hopefully have an uneventful ending to that emergency. You have your own expression for how to do your best in your career and in your profession. Can you share that with us and then maybe an example of where that came into play? Yeah, I think the takeaways for me that I talk about is to uh, control your ego so you can be an effective leader and a teammate. Do the work, whatever it may be, with discipline. In, in airplanes, especially air-to-air, -air, there mm -hmm. are certain rules of thumb that we go by, that we brief, that are really, really important. And then we need to communicate effectively. And my, the critical part of my life was air-to-air -air combat. I spent three years in F-86s just every day fighting at, starting at 45,000 feet. Several of my friends had mid-air collisions because yes. uh, people entered the fight or they didn't follow the rules. Well, the X-31 program, in my experience, that was an airplane that had integrated thrust vectoring. So they had nozzles on the back that the pilot didn't control, but were brought into play when he was commanding, and it could fly stable at 70 degrees angle of attack. If you're at 70 degrees angle of attack, you're also coming down like a rock. You're coming down, but it could point, therefore, really effectively, and it could drive the fight. So air-to-air -air is all about having the right rules. It's all about uh, following the rules. It's all about communicating so everybody understands what you mean and that you have a certain bubble that you're going to try to stay outside of. We wanted to, at the end game of the X-31, fully developed, fully cleared. Uh, in fact, we took it to the Paris Air Show as a demonstration. Now, but we wanted to fight air-to-air -air at Edwards on an instrumented range uh, with the fighters in F-16, F-15, F-14, F-18. And we restricted the people that could fly. We only had two pilots on that could fly the X-31. And then we had an F-18 with a centerline tank was our standard configuration when we were doing tests with our own airplane. And one other pilot uh, could fly that air-to-air. -air. Uh, so it was an ex-Navy pilot, good friend of mine, flew with him for 20 years. So we briefed, and we were going up to do an air-to-air -air combat, X-31 versus F-18. We started out at known conditions. 250 knots was one, and 350 was another one. Line abreast, equal. So in, you follow rules, 500-foot uh, bubble. You don't want to come inside that, but you want to be aggressive in an air-to-air, -air, but you want to be follow the rules. And rules typically are when you look like you're on some sort of collision course, you might say, one say, I've got, I'm going high, the other's going low, and that's honored. But now when we're trying to, we're doing this test, me, I, air to air was my life, if you like. So as soon as we were fights on, I went high. I went up, you know, 40 degrees climb. You're in the X-31. I'm in the X-31. Okay. But I want to get behind him. So I'm driving the fight. I go up high and I say, I've got high. Well, it's a little bit nebulous what it is when you're 45 degrees up climbing. And then I want to get behind them. So I start a big barrel roll, and I'm going to, my vision is I'm going to come around behind him. But when I start the barrel roll, I stop climbing. He does not. Now, I'm not putting blame on it. It wasn't clear. And so I start the roll, and I start turning, angling to him because I want to, finish it behind him, and I, I look as I'm upside down, he is still coming at me. He's still climbing. Well, the logical thing for me to do, you might say, is push. Nobody ever pushes. <laughs> so, but I've got an angle, a crossing angle with him, and it happens fast. So suddenly I'm inside the 500-foot bumble, I'm going across, and I actually said, now I understand, I didn't say this in flight, but when you get at that point, there's nothing you can do. I was coming across him, upside down, he's right side up, and we crossed close enough that we both felt a bump of the airflow over the other airplane. We, of course, knocked it off, we talked about it, 
we got on the ground, we talked about it. Uh, but we took the data from the air-to-air -air range and we sent it to Germany because it was a joint program. They did the analysis. So three weeks later, one of the German engineers at Edwards says, you remember that flight? Uh, do you know how close you came? Well, I said, I know we were close. 25 feet. So if, if we had not had nose tail, a little bit of separation, I think our tails would have hit. Mm. So I, I mean, I got inside the bubble and I realized there was nothing. I just, I actually crunched down. I thought we were gonna, we were gonna collide. Mm. So back to my thing about discipline. You know, your ego too, I'm, I'm out there, I wanna win this fight. Of course. I wanna win. And so what I did surprised him, likely. And, and he didn't react, because if he did react, he was going to lose, sort of thing. So all of those things come into, it's, it's your ego is where you go at something. So you've got to, air to air, as people have been there, it's about aggression and patience. So with this airplane, with the X-31, it's a different division. And so one of the German pilots that came over, I actually beat him one day in the F-18. So he was dumbfounded. He was like upset. And I said, well, you have to drive the fight. You can point like I can't. And I have to honor that. So you, you just drive F-18s into the dirt. And now they'd be in a just hanging on circle. And we had admirals and generals come and say, why doesn't he take it up? Well, he can't move. He can only keep turning. And you just, in the center of this circle going down, you're just pointed at him. <laughs> well, that brings those those items to play. That's mm -hmm. control your ego, you know, fight and plan and conduct yourself with discipline. I, I'm not putting blame on it. We did not. We were trying to win. And this was a test. And this was almost took us both out. Wow. Control your ego, flight and plan with discipline. And then the third one again was? Communicate effectively. And that could be to your boss above that's an, an accountant by trade and you're a test pilot or a test engineer, uh, you need to be able to communicate. And you need to be able to communicate the plan, especially in a critical air-to-air, -air, the ultimate consequence is death. If you hit, you don't want to hit the other airplane, obviously. So you got to be able to communicate and there is not allowed to say when asked, why did you do that? to say, well, it, I thought it was a good idea at the time. That is not part of a disciplined world. If it is, it leads to trouble. Yeah. 